Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. On the Mirror, Paige Freshwater reports, Dad baffled by daughter's homework. So difficult, math graduates can't solve it. A dad has taken to social media to seek the answers to his daughter's math's homework. He spent a good while trying to figure it out himself, but ended up giving up on it. So what was the problem? It was posted to the Dadit section of Reddit with the following comment. So yeah, my daughter said she needed help with her homework, and this mystery number crap is about to make me lose it. Mr. Ruiz gives his class clues about a six-digit mystery number. The three is in a place that is ten times greater than the place of the zero. The one is in a place that is ten times less than the place of the zero. The four is in a place that is ten times more than the place of the three. The nine is in a place that is 100 times less than the one. The two is in a place that is 10 times more than the nine. What is Mr. Ruiz's six digit mystery number? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. When you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. As a confused parent or student, you might be tempted to just put this question into AI and hope that magically it would give you the correct answer. Sometimes it does. Well, on this problem, it was actually of no help at all. I put this question into Google Gemini and it came up with deductions on the first and second clue, which were wrong. And then it said, there must be an error in the clues. The first two clues are contradictory. So there was something about the language of the questions that tripped up the AI so it wasn't able to give us an answer. So you might think, all right, let me put it in chat GPT. Well, unfortunately for this problem, GPT 3.5 was of no more help. In fact, it gave an incorrect answer of 413,092. So if an AI said it couldn't solve it, you might at least just say, well, the AI didn't help, let me try it myself. But if an AI gives the wrong answer, you might be tempted to just blindly trust it. So in that case, it could be even worse. So in any case, Gemini and GPT 3.5 were of no help. So how can we figure it out? Let us work the little gray cells. So let's go through the problem step by step. Mr. Ruiz gives his class clues about a six digit mystery number. So our objective is to solve for this mystery number. It'll be good to start out with some way we can represent this we'll just write out six different blanks to represent the six digit mystery number. Now we need to know what the six digits are that we're filling in these six blanks. So we'll go through each clue one by one. So in the first clue, the three is in a place that is 10 times greater than the place of zero. So three will be one of the digits and we have zero is another one of the digits. In the second clue, the one is in a place that is 10 times less than the place of zero. So one is another one of the digits. Now we already have zero as one of the digits. We'll see if there's more than one zero, but for right now we know that we have the digits three, zero, and one. In the next clue, the four is in a place that is 10 times more than the place of the three. So four will be another one of the digits. Then the nine is in a place that is 100 times less than the one. So nine is a fifth digit. And finally, the two is in a place that is 10 times more than the nine. So two is the sixth and final digit. So we have six digits, three, zero, one, four, nine, and two. We just need to arrange them in the six slots according to these clues. So let's go through each of the clues. So in the first clue, the three is in a place that is 10 times greater than the place of zero. So let's write out the placeholder values. On the very far right, we have the units or ones column. Then we have the tens column to the left of it. Then we have the hundreds column, the thousands column, the ten thousands column, and the hundred thousands column. The three is in a place that is 10 times greater than the place of zero. So as we look at these columns, each time we go one slot to the left, we're multiplying by 10. This means the three is immediately to the left of the zero. So imagine we put the zero in the units column. 
then the 3 would have to be in the tens column, which is immediately to the left. So we would have to put the 3 over here. But we don't know that the 0 is in the units column. It could be in the tens column, in which case we would have to shift over both of the digits. The 3 and the 0 are like a puzzle piece that we would put together. If the 0 is in the tens spot, the 3 would have to be in the hundreds. Now, if we shift the 0 over to the hundreds column, we would have to shift the 3 to the thousands column, and we could also shift it over to the thousands column, and then the 3 would have to go to the ten thousands column. And finally, we have one more case where the 0 could be in the ten thousands column, and the 3 would have to be in the hundred thousands column. But in any case, from the first clue, we know that the 3 and the 0 have to be in this order right next to each other. So we can just treat it as one little block together. We have three and zero. Now we go to the next clue. The one is in a place that is 10 times less than the place of the zero. So if we're going to go 10 times less, this would have to be going to the right. So we know that wherever the zero is, the one is going to have to be immediately to the right of it. So we can imagine wherever the zero is, we take one spot over to the right and we must have the digit one. So from the first two clues, we figured out we have one block of three, zero, and one. In the next clue, the four is in a place that is 10 times more than the place of the three. So being more than the three, it will have to be in a place that's to the left of the three immediately. So we can put the four just ahead of the three. We have four, three, zero, and one. Now the nine is in a place that is 100 times less than the one. So to be 100 times less will be two spots over. So we know that wherever the one is, the nine will have to be two places to the right. So how can we represent that? We will put a blank spot to the right of the one that'll be 10 times less. And then we're going to need to put the nine to the right of that. So the nine will be over here. So we have four, three, zero, one, blank and nine. Now, of course, the two will have to go in this final spot, which will be revealed in the last clue as well. The two is in a place that is 10 times more than the nine. So we'll have to be immediately to the left of the nine. So we put that in and we have a six digit number and that must be the mystery number. So we put this all together and the number is 430,129. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.